welcome to the deep dive. Today we're looking at a, well, a pretty dramatic story. Hmm. A company that shot up to unicorn status, big partnerships, the works, and then collapsed really fast. Yeah, we're diving into the sources you sent us about engineer.ai, or as they became known later, builder.ai. Right, and our job here is to pull out the key bits from these sources, figure out the core story. I mean, the headline is pretty stark, AI startup, billion dollar valuation, serious backers, even Microsoft. And then insolvency filed in May 2025. It's uh, quite the trajectory. It really is. Almost hard to believe looking back just a year or so before that. Yeah. So we're going to unpack it. The initial idea, you know, the huge hype, the controversies that kept popping up and what the sources say really caused this sudden implosion. OK, so let's start at the beginning. It was founded back in 2016, originally called Engineer.ai. Founders were Sachin Dev Dougal and Saurabh Dute. And the big idea. What was the pitch? Ambitious, to say the least. They wanted to basically revolutionize how software, especially apps, got built, make it super easy. The tagline, according to the materials, was as easy as ordering pizza. Easy as ordering pizza. That definitely grabs your attention. And technology-wise, what was under the hood? Or what did they say was under the hood? Well, they talked about a low-code, no-no-code platform. There's this AI assistant, uh, Natasha, I think. And the core claim was that their AI assembled code, sort of like snapping together Lego bricks. Lego bricks. So the promise was faster, cheaper app development, all thanks to AI making it more efficient. Exactly. AI means we can build more cost effectively and at speed. That was the value prop. And it worked initially. They bootstrapped for a bit. But then in late 2018, they landed a big Series A. How big are we talking? Uh, $29.5 million had names like Lakestar, Jungle Ventures, even SoftBank's Deep Core Incubator involved. That was the cash injection they needed to scale things up. Okay, so vision, check. Catchy pitch, check. Serious early funding, check. Seems like a strong start. Where did the, uh, the cracks start to show? Yeah, well, it didn't take too long, actually. 2019 was a key year. The Wall Street Journal published a pretty critical report. Right. I remember reading about that in the sources. It wasn't just like external skepticism, was it? Something happened internally, too. Much more than skepticism. Around the same time, their own chief business officer sued the company. Whoa. On what grounds? Alleging that they were basically puffing up their AI capabilities, you know, exaggerating how much the AI actually did, specifically to lure investors and get that funding. Ouch. So the core promise AI building the apps was being directly challenged from the inside and out. How did the company handle that? The founder, Dougal, pushed back. He called it human-assisted AI, tried to frame it differently, but, you know, the reputation took a knock. Yeah, that human-assisted label sounds a bit like backtracking. It definitely raised eyebrows. And mm. this whole episode really flags that ongoing issue, the gap between the AI hype and the, well, the human reality behind the scenes. They actually rebranded to Builder.ai not long after, maybe trying to leave that controversy behind. Interesting. But even with that scandal, they didn't just fold. They kept going, right? Even grew. Yeah, surprisingly, perhaps. It shows how strong the market demand was, or maybe just how compelling the AI story still was to some investors. They managed to skip a Series B altogether. Skip B. Went straight to C. Straight to a Series C, yeah. Around 2020. And it was a big one. $100 million. Insight Partners, the IFC. They got more major backers, kept expanding. Okay, so they weathered that first storm. And then things seem to really take off a couple of years later. Hmm. Mid-2023 feels like the peak, based on the sources. Absolutely the peak. This was smack in the middle of the generative AI frenzy. Everyone was excited about AI. Builder.ai was, like, perfectly placed. They closed a massive Series D round. How mad? $250 million. That's when they eventually became a unicorn valuation over a billion dollars, led by the Qatar Investment Authority. And, crucially, Microsoft came in. Microsoft. As an investor. Investor and strategic partner. Huge validation. They were getting called a pioneer. Ended up on Fast Company's most innovative and in AI list. On paper, things looked amazing. You'd think they were unstoppable at that point. But the sources suggest trouble was brewing underneath, right, moving into 2024. Yeah, the gloss started to wear off pretty quick in 2024. Serious red flags started popping up. And these weren't minor issues. Like what? What kind of flags? Well, first, some really serious legal stuff involving the founders, personally. Both Dougal and Dute were named in financial crime investigations back in India. Financial crime? What sort? Tied into probes about money laundering, bank fraud, connected to that whole Videocon scandal. I mean, that's a massive governance cloud hanging over the company leadership. Definitely not what you want investors reading about. Were there internal issues too? Finances. 
That's the second flag. Whispers, then more concrete allegations from former employees started surfacing. Claims that sales figures were being inflated. Inflated? By how much? The number mentioned in the sources is over 20%. The allegation was it was done deliberately to, you know, make the books look better for investors. That points towards potential financial mismanagement or worse. Okay, so founder legal issues, questions about the financials, anything else? Yep. To round out a bad year in December 2024, bam, a huge data breach. Seriously? What happened? An unsecured server, apparently, exposed something like 3 million internal records. Just terrible from a security standpoint, obviously, but also raises more questions about basic competence and governance inside the company. Wow. Founder legal trouble, cooked books allegations, massive data leak. Investor confidence must have been hitting rock bottom. You'd think so. And by early 2025, it seems the investors had had enough. They forced a change at the top. So Dougal was out as CEO. Stepped down as CEO in February, yeah. Though he stayed on the board for a bit, they brought in a new CEO, Manpreet Ratio, to try and uh, right the ship. The board got smaller too, and Dougal lost some control there. A last ditch effort, maybe? Did the new leadership manage to turn things around? It seems like it was too little, too late. In March 2025, the company had to come clean publicly, admitted they'd cut their revenue forecasts for the second half of 2024 by 25%. Oof, a 25% cut. That's huge. Huge. And they hired auditors to go over the books, but even that drew flack because the auditor they picked apparently had personal ties to Duggal, which didn't exactly scream independent review just fueled those mismanagement worries. It just keeps getting worse. <laughs> and then May 2025, mm. the final collapse. How did it happen so suddenly? It sounds like it went from struggling to completely broke almost overnight. That's pretty much what happened. The trigger was one of their lenders, Viola Credit. They'd provided $50 million in venture debt the year before. Venture debt, risky stuff if things go south. Exactly. And Viola clearly got spooked by the company's health, or maybe Builder.ai breached some loan terms. Whatever the reason, Viola acted fast. They basically reached into Builder.ai's bank accounts and mm. took their money back. How much did they pull? They seized $37 million of the $50 million owed, which left Builder.ai with almost nothing, like yeah. maybe $5 million total uh, across all accounts. $5 million. For a company that size, that's nothing. Completely crippling. They couldn't operate, couldn't meet payroll. And that led directly to the end? Directly. May 20th, 2025, the new CEO, Ratia, holds an all-hands call announces they're filing for insolvency protection. And because the cash was gone, they laid off most of the staff, over 700 people right then and there. Just gone, instantly. Instantly. And here's a really grim final detail from the sources, that remaining $5 million, apparently it was stuck in bank accounts in India. Due to regulations, they couldn't even access it quickly to pay salaries, so they were effectively out of cash they could actually well, use. Unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. So going from that billion-dollar valuation the Microsoft deal, all that hype, yeah. to zero usable cash and mass layoffs in, what, less than a year? Pretty much, yeah. It was incredibly fast. So when you piece it all together from the sources, what were the main drivers of this collapse? It sounds like a lot went wrong. It really was a combination. No single silver bullet, but several major things came together. Okay, what's number one? You have to start with the tech promise versus the reality. That whole AI builds apps like Legos thing, it just wasn't the full story. The sources consistently point to it being more like a mechanical Turk setup. Mechanical Turk. Meaning yeah. humans were doing a lot of the heavy lifting behind the scenes, making it look automated. So the core value prop of pure AI speed and efficiency wasn't quite real. That mismatch erodes trust and, frankly, the business model. Right. If customers are paying for AI speed but getting human costs and timelines, it doesn't work. Mm. What else? Financial mismanagement seems undeniable. They raise huge sums, hundreds of millions, but clearly the spending was out of control relative to actual sustainable revenue. The sources mention things like expensive retreats. Not a good look when you're burning through cash. Not at all. Add in the allegations of inflated sales figures, taking on significant debt. It created a situation where the money just ran out. The company itself talked about historic challenges and past decisions leading to the empty accounts. Historic challenges seems like a polite way of putting it. And those founder issues surely played a part. Absolutely. That's the third piece, governance and legal problems. Founders being tangled up in major financial crime probes in India, that's a huge shadow. It impacts everything, investor trust, focus, decision making, plus the internal lawsuits, the board having to step in. It points to fundamental issues with oversight and integrity. Okay, so shaky tech reality, financial issues, 
governance problems? Was there also just a basic business model issue? Did they find product market fit? That seems to be the final piece. Ultimately, despite all the money and hype, they struggled to build a truly sustainable, scalable business. They couldn't get enough paying customers at a price point that worked, given their actual cost structure, which involved a lot more human labor than the AI narrative suggested. The revenue just couldn't support the valuation or the burn rate. Product market fit at scale just wasn't quite there. So the aftermath. This story blew up in the tech press, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Widely covered. FT, Bloomberg, TechCrunch. The Register, Indian media, everyone picked it up. Lots of commentary focused on the irony, you know. An AI company brought down by very human problems. Like that quote from The Register said, AI powered, meaning mostly humans and bad decisions. Exactly. It's a stark lesson. Huge funding rounds riding the AI wave. None of it guarantees success if the basics aren't right. It really highlights the danger of overpromising, doesn't it? especially with technology. Definitely. Due diligence is key. Investors, customers, everyone needs to look past the shiny marketing. Is the tech really doing what they claim? Or is it, you know, clever packaging for a services business? And for companies themselves, it's a brutal reminder about transparency and governance. Mm -hmm. That fake it till you make it approach. It clearly has limits, especially when it comes to core tech claims or financials. Lose trust, and it's incredibly hard, maybe impossible to get back. Totally. And at the end of the day, building software is hard. AI can help, sure, but the Builder.ai story shows you still need the fundamentals. Deliver real value, manage your money properly, be honest, build a sustainable business. Those things still matter, even in the age of AI hype. It is a powerful story. Billion dollar unicorn Microsoft partner to insolvent in mere months. Just shows how fast things can unravel. Yeah, if the foundations are weak, even the shiniest building can crumble quickly, especially when transparency is missing. Which really makes you think, doesn't it, with yeah. AI developing so fast and so much money flowing in? Yeah. How can anyone, investors, founders, even just people like you, watching all this unfold, how can we get better at telling the difference? You know, separating the real breakthroughs from just really good marketing hype. That's the billion dollar question, isn't it? A challenge for all of us going forward. Well, thank you for providing the sources that let us dig into this. A fascinating, if cautionary, deep dive into Builder.ai's rise and fall.